Good morning and welcome to the Daily Rep from Prepperstone on Monday the 17th of July 2017. I'm Darren Sinden. Let's take a quick look at the overnight changes, any price moves we need to be aware of. These are the prices you'll remember as it's Monday on the, from the close in New York on Friday. I just want to focus on one rate here, uh, cable, that's pound dollar, 130.98 the close in New York on Friday. That means that uh, the pound has accelerated by 6.1% against the dollar year to date. Uh, it could be a pretty important week for the UK as a whole and we'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. What's on the calendar? Let's move on to have a look at events that may move the market today. Uh, it's a fairly busy calendar today but I've chosen just to focus on the key events, some of which we've already had, uh, namely uh, retail sales, industrial production and GDP data out of China. I just want to focus here on uh, two of those numbers. Uh, retail sales 11% above its 10.6% uh, forecast and very impressively industrial production came in at up 7.6% against a forecast of plus 6.5%. So that's uh, well worth being aware of. And in terms of what's to come later in the day, we have uh, consumer price index data from the Eurozone out at 9 o'clock uh, GMT or 10 o'clock London time. And then to finish the day over in New Zealand, we have uh, CPI data there for the whole of the second quarter. And that's out at 22.45 GMT or uh, 23.45 London time. OK, let's uh, take a look at the breaking news and comment that's caught my eye this morning. Firstly, China's GDP grew by 6.9% in Q2 and is on course for the first acceleration since 2010. Moving back to Europe, Brexit negotiations will resume in Brussels today, uh, but the UK cabinet appears to be fighting among itself and uh, the press and uh, TV programmes over the weekend were full of talk of briefing against Chancellor Philip Hammond. Speaking of politics and, uh, and unhappiness, uh, President Trump's approval ratings fall to 36% as he celebrates his six-month anniversary in the job, whilst at the same time in Asian trading, dollar index looks to be on course for new 10-month lows. Uh, I've drawn this chart here, the hourly chart of uh, dollar index, just to exemplify this. You can see the sharp sell-off uh, that we've seen over the last uh, two sessions. And the question is then, is a weak dollar uh, correlated to a weak US presidency. That's something for us to ponder on uh, today and over the course of this week. Speaking of things to ponder, let's give you some food for thought, something else to take into the trading day with you. Uh, here's a chart that shows uh, China GDP growth since 2007. Uh, the salmon pink line is the nominal growth and the red wine coloured line is the level of real growth. Nominal growth in China has begun to rebound, but can real or inflation adjusted growth do the same? You'll notice the differential here between uh, real and nominal growth. And the answer to this question may be critical to what happens next for the global economy. China obviously has been the economic powerhouse of the globe for much of the last 15 years. Thank you for your time. Please do take a moment to read through this uh, risk warning and disclaimer. Trading uh, foreign exchange and CFD on leverage can be a risky business. And if you're in any doubt about those risks, then please contact your Pepperstone account executive. Once again, thank you. And we look forward to speaking to you tomorrow.